What is going on, guys, people? This is Will Kotcher, the second with another episode of The Sports Binge, the program where you get relaxed and get informed. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another video. It's exciting to be talking about baseball because this is actually my first baseball video on my channel. So what a way to introduce it with this topic that I have for you guys today as it pertains to the league trying to alter and tweak its playoff format for 2022. Now, before I move further, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this and all my videos to spread the word and to spread the reach. Now, ESPN posted this earlier today, so I'm just reading you guys, um, basically to give you the gist of what's going on. Uh, Major League Baseball is considering a move in which each league would have three division winners and four wildcard teams making the postseason starting in 2022, sources said. The best team in the league would receive a buy into the division series Two, the two remaining division winners and the wildcard team with the best record of the four would host all of the games of the best of three series in the opening round. And the story, the like this whole proposal was first reported by the New York Post. Well, I saw it earlier on ESPN, so that's why I mentioned them earlier. One of the once the teams clinch the reg, and the regular season ends, the plan gets congested. So this is where really it gets juicy, if you want to say it like that. The division winner with the second best record will select its wild card opponent from the, the three wild card winners not hosting the series. So I'm going to say that again. The division winner with the second best record would select its wild card opponent from the three wild card winners not hosting the series. Another component the division winner with the worst record would then choose its opponent from the remaining two wild card teams. And another component. The final matchup would pit the wildcard winner with the best record against the wildcard team not yet chosen. All of these selections, sources said, would be unveiled live on television the Sunday night of the final regular season games. And as you know, for baseball fans, currently the two teams, two teams from each league play in like a basically a winner take all game, like a, a game 163 tiebreaker, and the winner would face the teams, the, the team of the best record in that conference or that league, should I say. Now, let me just say this. I do applaud Major League Baseball for, once again, considering to expand the postseason because uh, uh, they've already made strides, as I mentioned earlier, having the winner-take-all game, like the game 163 tiebreaker in each league. Uh, but expanding it even further would be ideal. I feel like it's long overdue. But instead, for me personally, and this is me talking, Instead of like having yet more wild card teams, I would rather each league play, like have eight teams in each in each league that make the playoffs. So basically, a total of sixteen teams out of the thirty that make it to the dance, so to speak. I just feel like uh, I've always felt like basketball had it right as it as it pertains to postseason basketball. Whether it's we talk about college or the NBA, everybody starts off with a clean slate. And it, just having that bracket format in the college case is 64 teams. And for professional basketball, you have eight teams from each conference, East and West. I always feel like it was that was the ideal scenario. Growing up, I was never too gung-ho about wild card playoff formats because you have situations, whether it's in the MLB or even National Football League, you have situations where because it's so division-centric, it's so division-reliant, uh, you have a you have a scenarios with teams that were with lesser records than other teams will make the playoffs because they did well in their division, but in reality they benefited from subpar divisions. Now to give some specific examples, I want to start off using some examples from the National Football League. I'm gonna go back. I'm going to taking it back to the 2010 NFL season. As you can see uh, from the NFC uh, final standings, you look at the NFC South division where you see uh, the Atlanta Falcons, they, went, they had the number one seed in the conference winning 13 games out of 16. The New Orleans Saints, who were the division champions at the time, they finished 11 and five. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were 10 and six, which was their best season win-loss win wise uh, since their Super Bowl winning team in 2002. Now you look at to the NFC West at the top, you see uh, the Seattle finished uh, first in the NFC West despite finishing the regular season with a below 500 win-loss mark. Now they made the they made the playoffs that year because, as I said before, they benefited from a poor division. The NFC West was, I think, they were the worst division in football that year. And Tampa Bay, uh, they got the short end of the stick because they finished in a tougher division. But because 
because the NFL places so much emphasis on how you finish uh, within your four teams against your rivals, they they didn't get the benefit of the doubt despite having a, a 62 well 63 win percentage of that year. Uh, they just fell victim to uh, better teams in their own uh, division. As it, and even you could look at this past season, uh, the season just just concluded. You have the Eagles that won the NFC East despite only going nine and seven, and uh, now the, and the Seahawks finished second in the NFC West when they even though they went 11 and five but they were in a tough division because san francisco was the nfc championship the, the nfc champions this year so they they had the short end of the sticks in, in that regard and then because the way the playoffs is set up in the nfl the, each division winner is guaranteed a home playoff game at least to start off their playoff runs for that season so seattle despite finishing two games better than fill up than philadelphia they had to travel cross country to Pennsylvania to play a game against the Eagles. Now, to be more specific with the um, Major League Baseball, a scenario in the National League back in the 2007 season, where as you can see right here, the San Diego Padres, despite finishing two games, four games better than the Chicago Cubs, they missed the playoffs because they were, they received the sword end of the state regarding the National League Western Division because the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies uh, both won 90 games that season. Chicago, the Cubs only won 85, but they benefited from a weaker division, so they got into the playoffs that year. And even looking at a few years later in 2012, the Detroit, the Detroit Tigers, excuse me, they finished uh, one game lower than the Los Angeles Angels, but because they played an easier AL Central, they got the advantage over the Angels who played in the, despite playing in a tougher AL West division. So that's why I was basically saying earlier that I never was too crazy about wild card playoffs because they put too much emphasis on division play despite being in a, a worse division or benefiting from a worse division or inferior division, whatever you want to put it. And I was, I was just never crazy about that aspect. So yeah, basically my, my point is, my overall point is that yeah, I do respect and commend the MLB for continuing to expand the playoff picture, but ideally they'll have no wild card teams and you have eight teams from each league to compete out for the World Series trophy. Now, here's the other thing. As it pertains to picking your opponent, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not into that. I'm really not into that, actually. You know, obviously, you know, and you know, um, you know, the league is responsible, each sports league is responsible for making their leagues more popular, more appealing to the fans, But uh, and which I understand, of course, but I'm just not too excited about that possibility of picking your opponent because you realize, you know, a lot of people will pick, well, I won't pick the easier one, so I won't have the easier road to the uh, championship, but it really in postseason play is, for by 99% of the time, each team is high quality despite the win-loss record. So you're really not getting getting such a tremendous, significant edge. And even more so, and I saw, uh, I read some e baseball panelists for ESPN. They, were, they just totally disagreed with this notion of picking your uh, opponent because you just give the other team bulletin board material saying that you're inferior and less than. So it, it can work, work against you despite having that control of your destiny, really literally having control of your destiny. But I, I'm not really... I'm not really too uh, hot on that either, if you ask me. So yeah, I didn't want to hold you guys too long. I just wanted to wanted to uh, share my thoughts on that. So uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Like I said, it was, I'm excited to do this video because this is my first baseball video. So really eager to see once again where my channel continues to grow. So like I said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys have a blessed night.